Jennifer Priest here and today I'm going to share with you how to make plaid pillow covers for your existing pillows. So this is what my pillows and living room look like before and you can see after I've created all this plaid look that's totally in for the holidays. This is part of the Mad in Crafts Mad for Plaid week that's going on right now. So um, at the end of the video and down in the description you can click the link for that. Now, uh, when you get fabric from the fabric store, a lot of the time they don't cut it square, which is so frustrating to me. So <coughs> cut a straight edge on your fabric and then measure on the mat. You're gonna cut it an inch larger than your pillow is. So I'm using 18 inch pillows and I cut this to 19 inches on each side. Then I cut along that folded edge, pinned one side and then stitch it with really long stitches. This is how we're gonna put the zipper in. You're gonna press the stitch open press it flat with an iron and then you'll pin the zipper to the middle of the stitch so you want or to the seam so you want wherever the seam is at you want the zipper to be there add the zipper foot to your sewing machine make sure that the needle is to the side right and not in the middle and then stitch down one side of the zipper and as you go when you get to the zipper pull you're going to need to move that out of the way so you'll lift the presser foot move the zipper pull out of the way and then sew past the zipper pull and um, when you get to the end i like to kind of do a few stitches to reinforce sew back up the other side and again you'll have to lift the presser foot move the zipper pull out of the way and then keep sewing Sewing. And then again, I reinforce the other end. Um, trim all your threads, take all the pins out so you don't stab yourself, and replace the zipper foot on your uh, sewing machine with the regular presser foot. Next, the long seam that we did in the very beginning, you're going to take that out with a seam ripper. So you'll open the zipper as you do this. It makes it a little bit easier. Use a seam ripper to remove that uh, seam. And this is what makes the zipper lay nice and flat. Get all your str your strings out of the way and then uh, fold your pillow back in half and pin it on all sides. You're going to make sure that it's folded in half wrong side out. Then you're going to stitch a half inch seam all the way around the other three sides of the pillow using the sewing machine. And just use regular size stitches for this. As you go, make sure that you remove the pins and also trim your threads. Now, once that's done, you're gonna snip the corners by basically cutting a diagonal at the corner but not cutting the uh, stitched area. Then you'll turn your pillow inside out and use a dowel or chopsticks to press uh, the corners all the way out. Then you'll insert your pillow. You can use a pillow form or you can just use regular pillows you already have like I did here. And you can see how now my whole living room is transformed to totally Christmas and super plaid and I didn't even have to buy any new pillows. I like this because I can use what you already have instead of having to buy like new pillows for every season. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, up there at the top you can see a video that's playing that shows how I use some of the scraps from this project to create uh, pencil cups for my office using Tombow Extreme Adhesive. Also, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. You can get updates every time we put new videos, which is usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye!